Later this morning, President Obama will give his final speech abroad. He's set to deliver remarks in Athens, Greek, in a little more than an hour from now. But yesterday, he held a joint news conference with Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tipras, and politics did not stop at the water's edge. NBC's senior White House correspondent Chris Jansing was there. Good morning, and it's going to be a very busy morning for President Obama, who will be giving his final speech on foreign soil, a big picture look at the world, but a very different view than he might have given had Donald Trump not been elected. Now, all the questions that are being asked by foreign leaders, including the Greeks, President Obama has tried, as the U.S. has, to help them deal with a crushing debt. Unsalvageable is the way that Donald Trump has looked at it. And so these kinds of questions, these kinds of concerns he's going to be addressing today in a speech that I'm told has kept at least one senior aide up for most of the last three days. Now, yesterday he gave a press conference with the Greek prime minister, and I asked him about whether or not he feels any responsibility for the outcome of the election. Here's what he told me. I was surprised by the election results, uh, and I've said so. Um, I still don't feel responsible for what the president-elect says or does, but I do feel a responsibility as president of the United States to make sure that I facilitate a good transition and I present uh, to him as well as the American people my best thinking, my best ideas about how you move the country forward. The president did get a little break from the pressures of this trip. Last night, there was a state dinner at the presidential palace here in Athens. And then later this morning, he'll get to see what he really wanted to see when he came to Athens, which is to go up on the Acropolis and take a walk around the Parthenon. Then he gets on a plane and goes to Germany, where he'll be meeting with Angela Merkel, someone who's been criticized heavily by Donald Trump uh, for her policies on the migrant crisis. Other European leaders will be there as well. And then the final stop on this trip, which will be Peru, uh, ending the week there, where he had hoped to, frankly, be giving them good news about TPP, a signature trade agreement that he hoped to get passed in a lame duck session of Congress. That is now dead. So a very different kind of trip than President Obama would have planned just a little more than a week ago before Donald Trump was elected president. Back to you. All right, Chris Jansing there. Thank you. And still